I'm Steve Bracken. I'm the farm manager here at Warwick Mushroom Farms. Warwick Mushroom Farms is a wholly owned subsidy of Phillips Mushroom Farms. Uh, Phillips Mushroom Farms is a family owned business who have been in operation uh, mainly in Kenneth Square, Pennsylvania uh, since 1928. Uh, the third generation uh, members of the family are, uh, are at the helm at this point. And with this new uh, adventure here at Warwick, it's uh, it's the most modern, uh, advanced technology mushroom growing facility in the country. Uh, we distribute these mushrooms uh, throughout the uh, states here, mainly uh, Boston through Miami uh, and grocery stores. We do go as far as uh, uh, California on a semi-regular basis, but the main markets are from, uh, from home here to uh, Miami. Does it stop at the screen? Oh, uh, yeah. Poster in each room. Each room has uh, 110 pounds of compost. How much is in this tractor trailer? This tractor trailer has about 23 tons. It takes five trailer loads uh, to do a whole room. Uh, trailer loaded peat moss. How long does it take you to load a room? It takes me about seven hours to load a room with three guys working. And the old system, it would take, uh, take about eight hours to load a room with about uh, nine guys. So, uh, with the new technology here, the mechanical technology, it's uh, a lot more labor efficient uh, to do it this way. Cool. How, how far is this truck? Where's, where's the mixing facility? Uh, the compost comes from our cooperative compost, uh, Laurel Valley Farm. It takes an hour to get here. Uh, from, uh, so that you order it, you call and give him how much heads up. Yeah, he has a uh, schedule. He knows what day I want to go. And we usually start at 7 or 8 o'clock. This okay. room is room uh, 19, or day 19, we are on a heavy harvest day here. Uh, this room today will pick probably uh, 15,000 pounds of mushrooms. As you can see, the uh, harvesters are busy at work. I uh, have uh, 16 or 18 harvesters in here right now, and uh, everybody averages about 68 to 70 pounds an hour. Uh, what we're doing is going through it. Looking, looking for each particular size that they're looking to put in each different container. So they size them by container? Each size them by container. This group, this room is, uh, they'll have three passes today. Each pass they pick a different each, size? Each pass they pick a different size, a different container. And that uh, allows these mushrooms are doubled in their size every 24 hours, so in four hours they'll be 25% uh, larger than what they are now. 25% larger is uh, quite a few pounds by the end of the day. Yeah. Okay, this room is uh, just starting to pin. We're on day 13 of, of my cycle. Uh, from this day on, uh, everything starts to happen pretty fast. Up until then, the mycelium was just growing, but once uh, once we get the actual fruits that start growing, each fruit will double its weight and size every 24 hours. So uh, these mushrooms here today will be this size tomorrow, and this size tomorrow, and this will be this size tomorrow. 
So from here on, the, the cycle really starts. It's the most dramatic that you can that you can see during the process. And do you have a scale that you determine at what point they're ready to be harvested, or only by eye? And only what the mushroom will tell us when he needs to be harvested by uh, the when the veil starts getting loose and the mushroom just starts to get at the maturity, the, the uh, veil underneath will get break a little bit loose and then the harvesters know at that point that it's time to harvest. So it takes a human intervention to make the harvest? Yep. Uh, there is uh, mechanical machines in Europe that they, they will come in through and mechanical harvest it. Uh, they, it's a little bit different technique. Uh, what they use, all the mushrooms will be the same size all the time and they come through with the machine and cut everything at one time. But for the fresh market, we want each mushroom individual, round, white, and that takes a human, a person to uh, determine uh, when that mushroom is ready and not the whole room at that time. Day 15 cool. in this room, okay. uh, two days after the last room, and you can see uh, every two days how much larger these mushrooms are getting uh, as they grow. Again, at this point I'm starting to water. Mushrooms are 97% water, so it takes a, a fair amount of water. So we're watering and harvesting uh, throughout the cycle. There's one, two, three, four, five, six tiers in each room. Six tiers. Uh, each each shelf is uh, 98 foot long, uh, five and a half feet wide. There's like I said, 10,000 square foot of growing surface in this room. The compost comes in from our cooperative uh, Laurel Valley Compost in Avondale, Pennsylvania. And the weekend it's already pasteurized. Uh, comes in and track the trailer, and process through our machine, uh, and this machine makes a, a nice uh, meat loaf, if you will, uh, 8 inches high by 50 inches wide, and a winch pulls the compost.